folks walk on this path with me for a bit, maybe you can lead me and I won't go astray. I wrote a poem about this. It's entitled Bubbles. A traveler from far away. Now I'm talking about travelers and people that lived in communities over 10,000 years ago. A traveler from far away came and encountered some homies. And they gave him food and warmth and shelter. And he helped with the crafts that he knew. Then in the evening, he told of his travels and repeated stories. And the homies and neighbors came to hear. Then came the cell phone and everyone's introduction to information and everyone's chance to say, yes, I already know that. You need not speak to me. Just listen to what I have to say. Take your bubbles away. Um, I have been going on for a couple years now about the images that I see on these ancient stone tools. And because they are extinct animals, then they sort of designate a certain age, you know, like over 10,000, before they become extinct. So if I find a modern animal in these stones, it just kind of throws me for a loop. I don't like to judge stuff, but I don't want to be brought down, brought low by a chicken. And I don't want my beautiful moons to be turned into the image of breakfast. So, am I seeing chickens? Is it possible? Well, we'd have to rethink everything about what they think hunter-gatherers are. I mean, chickens don't follow you like a puppy. And there's a lot of stuff out there in the wood that eat a chicken. You can't just have a chicken. You gotta have a pen, you gotta have you gotta have well you gotta have a rooster. And then why does these silly rocks look like a chicken? Is my whole theories gonna go crumbling down? All because of a chicken?